Good afternoon. It's good to meet with you again today. We've uh, started doing this uh, midweek uh, lifter upper, upper lifter or something. Uh, maybe you call it uh, afternoon over the coffee cup or something. When I thought about it, I remembered a friend of mine in Alaska uh, used to do it over the coffee cup every morning. And uh, his name was Don Nelson. He's gone on to be with the Lord. He's a great guy. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> welcome to all of you that might be watching out there. And the Lord bless you really good. And I'm going to be sharing a little bit today on learning to know God. Uh, my message on Sunday, I think, if you watch the live streaming part, it was that I may know him, not about him, but know him. Well, we have here in our uh, passed out uh, available people a place called Daily Word. And it's got some interesting, powerful stuff in there. And, and I picked out several things that I just want to talk about to, today. And, and so this morning, or this afternoon, rather, excuse me, uh, I want to talk about learning to know God. You know, <clears throat> I, I, I underscored something that really got my attention. And that is, when we're in a storm, we're going to learn about him. Not from the standpoint of this is God, but we're going to learn him inside of us. And uh, <clears throat> Philippians 4.13 and I think I use this, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and fellowship of his suffering. But knowing him, not about him, but knowing him is vital if we're going to have a successful, happy walk in this life. Praise God. Uh, <clears throat> I, I read about in our devotion here, a family, a man and his wife, and they got married. And of course, they wanted to, uh, like a lot of people, they wanted to uh, have some children and so forth. But as they walked through life, they found out that they could not have any children. So that put them in, in the midst of a storm. It's kind of like uh, the disciples in, in the Gospel of John. The Lord said, you know, get in the boat and go to the other side over there. And so they got in the boat and they're on. And in the midst of the sea, Jesus wasn't with them. In the midst of the storm, they were afraid. And the waves, were, these were fishermen that knew all about storms. But Jesus came walking on the water. And they were, that made them nervous. Maybe they were, I don't know, worried about ghosts or something. I don't know. Anyway, he said to them, it is I don't be afraid. So if you're going to, that's why it's important to know him. Whether it's, as we read about a family here that was in the storm and they struggled with the fact that they couldn't have children, even though they wanted to, or you're in, a, in a physical storm of some place. And I've been in snowstorms, and I'm sure you have. But I'm going to tell you something. Jesus is always there. All you got to do is call on him in Jesus name. And <clears throat> the experience that you're going to receive in a storm is valuable to your walk with the Lord. And, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not afraid to face anything if I know he's there. And I know he's there because he said so. And he proved that. The people that we uh, read about in our daily devotion here and the couple that could not have the children and so forth, he carried them through that crisis because it was a crisis to them. And everybody's walk in life have a different crisis. What may be a crisis to you may not be a crisis to anybody else. What might be a crisis to me may not be a crisis to you. But whatever it is, Jesus is there. And when he comes and begins to walk with you, the first thing you're going to do is not, number one, don't be afraid. Don't be nervous until he gets there. Just relax. When he gets there, 
because he's going to carry you through that storm. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's a financial storm. I don't care if it's a physical storm. I don't care if it's a neighbor storm, whatever it might be. He's going to walk with you. Now, that comes as a learning process, learning to trust him. There's a song we used to sing years ago, said, leaning on the everlasting arms. Well, if you're going to walk with him, you're going to have to lean on him because you might think you've got all the answers and you might be able to, you, I've heard this, we say this often, I, I finally saw the light at the end of the tunnel. Well, you know, that light is not our doing, that's the Lord. He's right there, ready, and it's kind of like waiting on us. And all you got to do is trust him, rely upon him. And you're going to have to do that as you learn through the crisis. And that's why it's important for us to go through these things. Uh, I, I don't want to face a, a storm without him. But with him, I'm not afraid of any storm. Because he's promised me, he's promised me that he's going to be with me, even as he was with the disciples. As he came, got in the boat. Here's the interesting thing when you read about that in the Gospel of John, the sixth chapter. As soon as he got in the boat, the waves quit. And it calmed, the sea calmed. That's the way it is with the Lord. And when you least expect it, he comes to your rescue. You can always rely on him. Let me tell you something. Please listen to this. Learn to trust him. Now, this won't happen the first day or the second day. And it may be a while before you've learned how to do it. But if you just stay in there, it's kind of like getting a college education. You don't go to college and learn everything you need to know the first year or the, even the second year. But a true college degree takes four years, sometimes longer. And so it is with the Lord. I'm not saying it's going to take you four years to learn. But I am going to tell you, you have to learn. And the only way you're going to learn is through experience. And the only way you're going to have experience is the storm. And when the storm comes, relax. He's with you. He's going to guide you. You can rest assured of that. Don't be afraid. Be not Afraid is what he says. Trust in him. Lean on him. Trust in the Lord, Proverbs says, with all your heart. Not just today, not just tomorrow, but forever. Trust him. And I don't care what it is, go to him. Don't be afraid to ask him. He's there to help you. And I promise you, stay in the boat. Don't worry about the waves. The master's right there, and you can expect the calm. The Lord bless you. I trust that something that's said today will bless you and help you in the storms of life. We hope you enjoyed this week's message. Join us each Wednesday for a midweek pick-me-up. And don't forget to visit New Life Christian Fellowship on our website. And until next time, may God bless you.